Hello, good day everyone. This is Tefs. Welcome to my channel. Today's repair is an Epson LCD projector. Not turning on and no standby power. I will show you how I will fix it. If you like this content. So please don't forget to like share and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. So you will notice every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. This projector uses high intensity discharge lamp or HID lamp. The projector is no power. So I will remove the main power supply and see what is the problem. The main board should be the first to be removed, then next to the power supply. These are the LCD connection. Disconnecting the blue LCD. Red LCD connection. And green LCD connection. Thank you. 
Disconnecting the other wires so the main board will finally be removed. The main board is successfully removed. The fuse is separated from the main power supply. Because this projector is no power, I will test this main fuse. The fuse is open or blown. If the fuse is blown there must have a reason. That's what I'm going to find out. Continue to remove the main power supply. I will disconnect the lamp supply output. One more wire or one connection to remove so the main power supply is finally separated. A burnt ceramic capacitor comes into sight. This is the cause why the fuse was blown. This ceramic capacitor value is 102 or 1.000 pf, 1 kV. It's a high voltage ceramic capacitor. A few inches later. I got this 102 capacitor from scrap. The reading is 0 0.953 pf which is ok. This capacitor is used for snubber applications.
I will check if there are possible shorted components before reassembling and testing. Seems no shorted components and is ready to assemble. As usual, I will solder a resistor across the fuse. The purpose is for a safe testing. Only the power source that I will connect. If the standby power will indicate, I'm confident that no more other problems. I will also connect the top cover where the keys and the standby light are located. The standby indicator is on, seems the power supply is ok now. Now that I'm confident, I will now solder a regular fuse replaced only the same type of fuse the fuse rating is 5 amp 220 volts ac
A few moments later. It's working amazingly. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you like the content, so please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell for the latest videos. Once again, this is Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.